So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. In today's video, we will cover the main highlight features and do an overview of Olympus's Pen F. Do know you can find timestamps and links in the description down below, as well as the pinned comment. And also know this is not a sponsored video. Let's get started. Initially released in the spring of 2016, the Olympus Pen F is the flagship model in the Pen series in their fifth rangefinder style mirrorless camera. It's a camera that's designed to capture the classic essence of the original Pen half film camera from 1963. And while it shares the same name and retro styling, underneath is an entirely modern camera with a feature set that places it at the forefront of the lineup. Officially, it replaces the original Pen, which debuted in 2009, and it's a camera they aim to compete with Panasonic's GX8 and Sony's A6300. New for this camera is the introduction of a 20.3 megapixel live MOS sensor without an aliasing filter in the TruePic version 7 image processor, and it's the first Olympus camera to obtain this sensor, making it higher resolution than their flagship EM1. It also offers continuous shooting speeds of 10 frames per second using the mechanical shutter or 11 using the electronic shutter, though both of these higher sequential shooting modes do lock focus, exposure, and white balance following the first shot. Alternatively, you can shoot at 5 frames per second using continuous autofocus and tracking. And the buffer depth for this camera is also excellent, providing 43 JPEGs or 39 RAW images when using a UHS-2 SD card. On the video front, it obtains similar video capabilities as the EM5 Mark II. With that, it can shoot 1080p full HD video up to 60 frames per second using the MPEG-4 codec to the MOV format using all-eye compression. And it also produces 120 FPS videos in camera, albeit at SD quality without sound, movie effects, or art filters. However, it does obtain the My Clip mode, which allows you to add multiple movie clips and still images into a single movie file. It also has the Movie Plus Photo mode, which allows you to take stills during video recordings by pressing the shutter. Low light performance is excellent considering its large micro four thirds sensor, and even despite the four megapixel increase in resolution. It features a native ISO range from ISO 200 to 25,600, and users can expect usable images up to ISO 3200. For focus, it obtains the same 81-point high-speed imager AF system from the EM5 Mark II, which uses contrast detection. The system also provides both face priority AF and pupil detection to accurately focus on subjects' eyes for portraits. Olympus also provides excellent customization over its autofocusing system, and interestingly, you can create separate profiles for single-shot AF or continuous AF. A nice touch. The camera also offers focus magnification and peaking, perfect for those who prefer manually focusing. New for this release is a built-in XGA OLED electronic viewfinder, making it the first pen camera to obtain a built-in viewfinder. This display offers a resolution of 2.36 million dots, 100% coverage of the imaging area, and a 0.62 times magnification. It also has a 3-inch variangle TFT touchscreen LCD, a feature taken from the EM5 Mark II. This display has a resolution of 1.04 million dots and a thin and sleek design. Immediately, the first thing you'll notice about this camera is its striking design. Aesthetically, it's one of the most attractive cameras released to date, and it's quite unlikely to find a camera of this build, design, and style elsewhere in today's market. The Pen lineup is known for sleek and sophisticated designs, and this camera continues this fine tradition, but even so, it remains quite compact and relatively lightweight, weighing only 427 grams. And it's definitely small enough for easy stowing into pockets, and even with its size, Olympus hasn't compromised on ergonomics. But outside of that, it also has an enormous feature set which includes all of the following. A locking mode dial, dual adjustment dials, a threaded shutter release, the highlight and shadow control toggle, built-in Wi-Fi, live composite, high-res shot, a silent shutter, 5-axis image stabilization, time-lapse, focus bracketing, HDR, multiple exposures, a digital teleconverter, built-in panorama, and the new creative dial. In the end, the Olympus Pen F isn't perfect, 
but it's the ultimate street shooter. It's a beautiful camera that delivers an incredible tactile experience that brings a real sense of analog photography to an ever increasing digital age. It makes you feel like you are using an old film camera with all the benefits of modern technology. Sure, some will compare this camera directly to the OMD EM5 Mark II, but that camera is not a pen. And this camera offers an elegant shooting experience that's currently unmatched in the OMD family. Yet compared to the previous cameras in this lineup, this camera is in a new class entirely of its own. And finally, the pen series isn't just a style accessory with a bare minimum feature set. Olympus has taken this release seriously and they've done away with any preconceptions about this lineup and usher in a new age of the sister range. It's the pen camera fans have waited for since its original debut in 2009 and it's now full of features with stellar image quality and a sleek and sexy body. So there you have it my friends. There are the highlights in the overview of Olympus's Pen F. For more information on the Pen F and other Olympus cameras, check out our website photographypx.com, go to our camera reviews page, then to the Olympus section, and there you will see a full detailed written review, as well as other reviews of cameras that may be of interest to you. You can also look at the pinned comment in the description down below, and that will also take you to the full review as well. I've been your host, Devon Lennox. We will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and it added value to you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Also, leave us a like and a comment in the description down below. Let us know if we overlook something or we miss something that we covered in today's video. I've been your host, Devon Lennox, photography. <laughs>